Okay, this is task number one, brake hydraulic system inspection. And the first thing you want to do is apply and release your foot pressure several times. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating on this on our brake trainer. You'll be actually be doing this on a car that I assigned to you, but what I'm showing you here and what you're doing on the car are exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do is apply our foot pressure, is our foot pressure, and make sure there are no squeaks or weird things or it doesn't return too fast, everything flows and works nicely. Okay, the next thing you want to do is apply heavy foot pressure. You really want to push on this or our brake pedal with our foot. And we need to make sure it feels solid. Okay. I don't want to feel any sponginess or softness. Um, that's going to indicate we have air in our lungs. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is check the hydraulic leaks we want to hold light foot pressure okay, with the engine off and power brake. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And we're going to check for any leaks on the car. We want to look under the hood, under the master cylinder here, make sure there's no leaks. Look at all the brake lines. Okay, Look at our brake hoses over here and inspect them for any leaks that might be uh, present. So you want to go ahead and check that with foot pressure applied. Okay. And you're going to do this with the engine running, okay, with the brake booster working, and with it not working, you want to apply pressure to and check it as well. Okay. We also want to check our level. Okay. We need a quarter of an inch of fluid below the top of this, or you want to be below what's called the fill line in, or right at, I'm sorry, right at the fill line here. Um, that's approximately a quarter inch below the top of this. So that's fine. I also want you, part of, as part of this lab, to go ahead and open the cap and look inside and look at the condition of the fluid. You should be able to see through it. It should be a nice golden brown color or the color of honey. If it's brown or black, uh, it needs to be replaced, but I still want you to go check this on in your car and make a note under number five as far as the condition of the fluid. Is it clean? Is it dirty? Um, and tell me what color it was. Okay. Number six on here, you need to add fluid if it's necessary, and I don't think you're going to need to add fluid. I just want you to check the level. You want to look for anything that's loose, um, fittings or nuts that are loose. Um, what else do we want to look for on here? That's about all we want to look for as far as leaks and that kind of thing. Now, we also want to check our e-brake. Okay, I want to make sure this is this spins nicely. There's no weird spots on it when I spin it. I, I don't want there to be a tight spot and it's loose and tight and loose. I want to spin this and make sure it's, it it spins nicely. It should be just snug, just like just like this. Okay. Um, I also want you to go ahead and inspect the brakes front and rear. So if your rear brakes already have Three of the five bullet nuts off, so we'll take off the other two and go ahead and pull off the drum. And I want to see how much brake lining is left here. Again, the minimum we could have is one sixteenth of an inch, right? One sixteenth of an inch of brake pad material. I'm sorry, I have brake shoe material here. And once we get below that, we have to go ahead and replace these shoes. These shoes are in good condition. So you can put your drum back on. specifications for that car. Okay. Okay. The next thing you want to do is check the front wheels up here. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer so we can see how thick this should be what we're looking for. We want to look at I'm going to zoom in a little bit here.
Okay. I'm looking for the thick, here's my backing plate here, and then here's the thickness of my pad here. And you want to give me your best guess or estimate of how thick this is. Uh, right there, that looks at about three-eighths of an inch, almost half an inch. And you want to go ahead and note that down on your lab packet too. Okay, again, you want to give me the thickness of the brake shoes that you measured when you took off the drum. And when you take out the front wheel, you don't have to disassemble this. You can leave this as it is. You may want to turn the actual wheel here. or Okay, this hub here, you might want to turn this and pivot it out so you can get a better look at this, and that's fine. Um, but you want to give me an estimate about of about how thick how thick the brake material is here. Again, once we get down to about a quarter of an inch, uh, we want to go ahead and replace those pads too. And we always replace them as a set. We don't replace them just as two here and then leave the other side on the right on. Okay. And when anytime these are low, we replace the left side and we replace the right side at the same time. Then at the end of the lab, all you need to do is make sure that you torque the wheels on properly. Um, then you have about four questions you need to answer. Um, the different spots you check for leaks, go ahead and list a few of those. Uh, the thickness of the front brakes and the rear brakes, or, or I'm sorry, the front pads and the rear shoes, go ahead and give me that information. Um, what type of brake fluid does a vehicle take? And usually you will find that on top of the brake fluid reservoir on the cap. It will tell you how, what, what type it takes. Does it take dot two, dot three, dot four? What type does it take? And then, last but not least, any recommendations as far as repairs that you found? You want to go ahead and note that down. Okay. Once you have that done, go ahead and bring your lab packet over to me, and we will get you signed off.